Today we'll be starting with Surah Al-Zumar. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajeem. Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Tanzeel Al-Kitab Min Allah Al-Aziz Al-Hakim. Inna Anzalna Ilayka Al-Kitab Bil-Haqq Fa'abudu Allah Mukhlisan Lahu Al-Deen. Ala Lillahi Al-Deen Al-Khalis. Sadaq Allah Al-Azim. رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقه قولي اللهم ربنا الهمنا رشدنا وعزنا من شرور انفسنا اللهم ارنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وارنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه امين يا رب العالمين i have already told you that these two groups of bakki surahs the eight from surah al furqan to surah al sajda eight surahs and then from these 13 surahs starting from surah al saba and it will come to an end on surah al ahqaf in 26th part they want to make 21 surahs and the central theme of these surahs is tawhid although along with tawhid other articles of faith that is resurrection the life of hereafter the jannah and jahannam the hell and the garden of eden etc etc these things are also discussed along with the institution of prophethood nabuwa risala but the main is the focus is on tawhid and out of these mostly the surahs are discussing the tawhid of creed tawhid fil aqida theoretical tawhid that is we believe in allah is one nobody is equal to him he doesn't have any associates or partners or rivals or equals neither in his person nor in his attributes he begot none and not not was begotten himself all these things are theoretical about allah subhanahu wa taala there are no associates nobody can intercede on any behalf behalf of any person without his permission so all these things are they belong to our creed our aqida you may call it dogma or as i am saying it's the theoretical aspect of tawhid Now the other aspect of tawhid is practical tawhid. To worship Allah and Allah alone. To obey Him, absolute obedience to Him only. All other obediences will be subject to His approval. We can obey our parents, we can obey our elders, we can obey our teachers, we can obey our rulers, provided. their obedience doesn't mean a disobedience to allah subhanahu wa taala if the elders the rulers the parents the husband to the wife as they say don't do this why allah subhanahu wa taala has declared it to be obligatory you have to disobey and if you don't disobey them it means you are disobeying allah subhanahu wa taala and this disobeying allah subhanahu wa taala is shirk now you have accepted them as superior to allah subhanahu wa taala you are accepting their command and rejecting the command of allah subhanahu wa taala allah says this is haram this is haram but maybe your parents pressurize you do it but now if you move at the pressure of the parents what does it mean you have disobeyed allah so there is a very good saying of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam لا طاعة لمخلوق في معصية الخالق. There can be no obedience to anyone who is created. All are created. Parents are created. Saints are created. Prophets are created. Everybody. في معصية الخالق. If you know the command of the parents is not against them, okay, obey them. No harm. If the command of the rulers is not against the deen of Allah, not against the command of Allah, okay, obey them. 
no heart. But when they collide with each other, then you have to cling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and disobey every other person, whosoever he might be. This is Tawheed. Now this is the practical aspect of Tawheed. And I have discussed only at the individual level, this practical aspect. This pra practical Tawheed now rises to the level of the state. At the level of the state, if you declare here is sovereignty of Allah, everything is under His sovereignty. This is Tawheed. And if you accept sovereignty of someone else, he might be anyone. One individual, as, in, as it is in the monarchy, or the sovereignty belongs to the people, to the whole masses, common people. It doesn't make any difference. It is shirk in both ways. Because sovereignty belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when you accept the sovereignty of Allah, and under the sovereignty of Allah, within the sharia and commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you establish a system, social system, political system. This is called the system of caliphate, khilafa. What's the difference? There was Namrud who said, I am the Lord, I am God. He argued with Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam. We have read it in Surah Al-Baqarah. Then there were Pharaohs. They used to say, Alayhi salim ulku I am the monarch of Misr. This Egypt is under my, under me and the whole irrigation system is controlled by me. On the other hand, Dawood, he said, Oh, I am a bondsman of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I myself am a servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I only rule you according to the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Apparently he was also a king, but he was not a king. He was a caliph. Last night we read the ayah. Ya Dawood, o inna jalna ka khalifatan fil not sovereign, not king. Who was Solomon? Suleiman alayhi salam, a caliph. What was Muhammad in Medina sallallahu alayhi salam after Hijrah? It was a government, no doubt. Who was the ruler? Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam. But he was a caliph, not sovereign. He was himself a bondsman of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As, as we say in that our kalma shahadat, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu. First he is a bondsman and servant of Allah and then he is the messenger of Allah. This position of messenger of Allah is secondary. The primary position is he is the abd of Allah. As I have pointed out many a times, the three surahs, very important surahs, in the opening ayats of all these surahs you find this position of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam as abd. It is highlighted. Subhan al-lazi asra bi-abdihi laylam min al-masjid al-haram ila al-masjid al-aqsa. Alhamdulillahi al-lazi anzala ala abdihi al-kitaba wa lam yajal lahu ibaja. Tabarak al-lazi nazal al-furqana ala abdihi li yakuna li al-alamina nazira. This position, he is the abd. This is superior to his position that he is a messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Actually, this is the practical aspect of Tawheed, which are unfortunately, who, even those, you know, groups among the Muslim Ummah, who attach maximum importance to Tawheed, and they think about themselves, they are the Mawahideen, even they don't know this aspect. If you don't accept sovereignty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, theoretically you are believing he is one, nobody is equal to him, nobody will be able to intercede before him for anybody except with his permission, all these things. These are theoretical aspects of Tawheed. The practical aspect of Tawheed is ibadah. But this ibadah has to be exclusively for him. Yesterday in my Jumaf sermon here in this very center, I discuss this subject Ibadah. And today I want to repeat briefly. Quran says that all the jinns and human beings were created to do Ibadah towards Allah. 
وما خلقت الجن والانس الا ليعبدون اول دی میسنجرز کال دی پیپل ٹو عبادہ ان ارسلنا نوحا الى قومه ان انذر قومك من قبل ان ياتيهم عذاب اليم قال يا قوم اعبدوا الله ما لكم من اله غيره عند قال في القران يا ايها الناس اتقوا اعبدوا ربكم الذي خلقكم والذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون ولا ورد ذي سبعه نمبر 1 توتال اوبيدينس تو الله سبحانه وتعالى ابسولوت اوبيدينس فور هيم اونلي اول دي اذر اوبيدينسز ويل بي كونديشنال تو دي اوبيدينس تو الله سبحانه وتعالى I will accept whatever you command me, provided you don't give me any order which is repugnant to the order of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. His obedience has to be higher up. So this is actually the meaning of ibadah. But this obedience should be based on a, a deep love for Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. the body of ibada is made of obedience but the spirit of ibada is love for allah subhanahu wa taala wal ladina amanu ashaddu hubban lillah and about this love also you can love your spouses you can love your children you can love your parents you can love your country but love of allah should remain supreme over all these loves if it is so then you are a muwahhid you are italian but if love of one single thing or person is more than the love of allah subhanahu wa taala now you are a mushrik all loves all affections to be within and below the love for allah subhanahu wa taala قل ان كان اباؤكم وابناؤكم واخوانكم وازواجكم وعشيرتكم واموال اطرفتموها وتجاره تخشون كسادها ومساكن ترضونها احب اليكم من الله ورسوله وجهاد في سبيله فتربصوا حتى ياتي الله بامره والله لا يهدي القوم الفاسقين ايه نمبر 24 سوره التوبه tell them o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam o people if your fathers your sons your brothers your wives or your spouses or your relatives or the wealth that you have accumulated or the business for which you keep fearing lest there should be some recession and the houses you have built and they are very dear to you if the love for these eight things is more in your hearts than the love of allah and love of muhammad and the love for jihad in the way of allah subhanahu wa taala then go and wait there till allah subhanahu wa taala issues his final command gives his final judgment and allah is not going to guide such transgressors your love has to be more than anything before allah subhanahu wa taala and his messenger this is tawhid but if something is more dear to you than allah now for example if wealth money is more dear you are ready to grab it although it is coming through haram means forbidden means what does it mean live love for this money is more than the love for allah so this money has become your mahbood and there is a hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam ta'is abdud dinar wa abdud dirham wo to the person who is abd of dinar and dirham his name is abdul rahman or abdullah but actually he is abd of dinar and abd of dirham dirham and dinar is more important to him more dear to him ya allah subhanahu wa taala this the hadith ta'is abdud dinar wa abdud dir so this practical aspect of tawhid is discussed especially in the coming four surahs surah az-zumar surah al-mu'min surah al-habib as-sajda and finally surah al-shura now we begin with surah az-zumar bismillah ar-rahman ar-rahim tanzil al-kitab min allah al-aziz al-hakim The sending down of this book is from Allah, who is Almighty and All Wise. Inna anzalna ilaikul kitab bil haq. We have sent down this book to you, O Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, with truth, total truth. Fa'budillaha, 
سو وشپ اللہ اوبے اللہ لو اللہ فار ورشپ آئی بی ایڈنگ دیز ٹو ورڈس اوبیڈینس ٹو اللہ لو آف اللہ ایکچولی دے گو ٹو میک اے بادہ ادروائز اونلی ورشپ یو نو یو آر پرینگ ٹو اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی بٹ یو آر نوٹ اوبینگ ہیم اٹ از یو آر سینگ سم تھنگ ایلس اینڈ ڈوئنگ سم تھنگ ایلس ان دی پریئر یو سی ای یا کے نام ہو تو وہ یا کے نستائین بٹ ایکچولی یو آر نوٹ ڈوئنگ سو یو آر ٹیلنگ لائی اف یو آر نوٹ اوبینگ اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی When you say, Iyak and Abudu, you are telling a lie. What gain will you have from this prayer? Unless what you say and what you do, they are harmonized. They are the same. فَعْبُدِ اللَّهَ بُخْنِ صَلَّهُ الدِّينَ Now this is the term especially. To keep your obedience exclusively for Allah. I have told you. It doesn't, do, it doesn't say that don't obey your parents. You can obey your parents, provided it doesn't mean disobedience to Allah. You can obey your elders, your rulers, whosoever they are, but provided it is, it doesn't entail a disobedience to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So, absolute obedience is exclusively reserved for Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. This is what. was meant by these words mukhlis allahu din din means obedience ala lillahi din al khalis behold for allah is the only pure din what does it mean allah accepts pure din khalis din no impurity no impurity of disobedience no impurity of accepting some other also for obedience Independent of the obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the impurity. So Allah lillahi dinul khalis. Allah demands from you deen where obedience, absolute obedience is exclusively reserved for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَالَّذِينَ تَخَدُوا مِن دُونِهِ عَلِيَاءَ As to as for those who have taken besides Allah other gods, other protectors, مَا نَعْبُدُهُمْ إِلَّا لَيُقَرِّبُونَ إِلَى اللَّهِ ذُلْفَا They say, we don't worship them, but only in order that they can take us nearer, nearer, nearer to Allah. Mushrik is the one who believes in the big Allah, the great Allah. But there are small aleha, Mahadev and Devis and Devtas, God with capital G, one. Gods and goddesses with small g, innumerable. But these gods were taken as if they will make us nearer and nearer and nearer and nearer to the, that big god. مَا نَعْبُدُهُمْ إِلَّا لِيُقَرِّبُونَ إِلَى اللَّهِ زُلْفَا إِنَّ اللَّهِ يَحْكُمُ بَيْنَهُمْ فِي مَا هُمْ فِيهِ مُخْتَلِفُونَ Verily Allah will judge between them on the day of judgment. In all the matters in which they had been differing, in Allah la yahdi man huwa kaazibun kafar, and verily Allah subhanahu wa taala doesn't guide to the right path. Whosoever is a liar and ungrateful, la orad Allah wa yatakhid abadad al nastafa bi ma yaklu ma yasha. Had Allah wished to take a son to Himself, He could have chosen anybody from His creatures, Subhana. But He is above all this. He doesn't need a son. He is ever living himself. You need sons. Why? Because you, you, you know you will die. Your name will continue through your lineage, your sons and the, then the grandsons. But Allah is ever living. He doesn't, he doesn't need a son. Who Allah al Wahid al Qahar. He is Allah, the, oh, the only one and the omnipotent. Khalaq al Samawati wa Allah bil Haq. He created the heavens and the earth. With truth, with purpose, you cover the day with the night. He makes the night cover the day, but you cover the night with the night, and then he makes the day cover the night. But the sun and the moon cover. He has subjected for you the sun and the moon. All are running on their own courses, their own orbits, for an appointed period of time. Ajalin Musamma, 
Allah who is the Ghaffar. Behold, He is the Mighty and He is the Forgiver. Khalaqakum min nafsi wahida. He created you out of one being. Summa jala min haa zawjaha. And from that being He created a spouse or a mate for it. وَأَنزَلَ لَكُمْ مِنَ الْأَنَامِ سَمَانِيَةَ أَزْوَاجِ And he has sent down for you eight pairs, eight couples of cattle, mainly the, you know, there were the goats, the sheep, the cows and the camels. These were the four cattle which were there in Arabia. So mostly these are mentioned. Two in each. She camel, he camel, male and female. So they go to make eight. Samaniya Tazwaj. Yakhrukukum fi butune ummahatikum. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala creates you and makes you perfect in the wombs of your mothers. Khalqan baada khalqan. Creation after creation. فی ظلمات سلاس in the darkness of the three wheels he is giving you shape and you are in the womb of your mother first of all is the abdominal wall of the mother then there is the wall of the uterus then there is the membrane in which the fetus is wrapped up three but within those three darknesses, Allah is shaping you. Allah is making you your eyes, your nose, your mouth, your ears. يَخْلُقُكُمْ فِي بُطْقُونِ أُمَّهَاتِكُمْ خَلْقُمْ مِنْ بَعْدِ خَلْقُمْ فِي ظُلُمَاتِ السَّلَاةِ ذَلِكُمُ اللَّهُ رَبُّكُمْ He is Allah your Lord. لَهُ الْمُلْكُ To whom belongs this sovereignty? لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا هُ There is no God except Him. فَأَنَّا تُسْرَفُونَ where from are you being diverted? In Takfaru? And if you don't believe in Him, فَإِنَّ اللَّهُ غَنِيُّ نَنْكُمْ So Allah is, Allah doesn't need anything from you. He is free from all needs. He is absolutely sufficient. وَلَا يَرْضَى لِعِبَادِهِ الْكُفْرِ But He doesn't like this disbelief on the on behalf of His bondsmen and servants. فَإِنْ تَشْكُرُوا يَرْضَوْ لَكُمْ and if you are grateful, he approves of it. And no burdened soul will be able to carry this burdens of the others. Then all of you, you will be returned to your Lord. Then he will tell you what you had been doing. Innahu alimum bizaati sudur. Verily, he knows even that which is in your hearts and chests. وَإِذَا مَسَّ الْإِنسَانُ ضُرُّنْ And when there is some affliction which comes to a man, human being, دَا رَبَّهُ مُنِيبًا إِلَيْهِ Now he calls upon his Lord, O Allah, O Allah, deliver me. You know, turning to him in repentance. سُمَّ إِذَا خَوَّلْنَاهُ خَوَّلَهُ نِعْمَةً مِّنْهُ then when we have given him some blessing, that affliction goes. Nasiya ma kana yadu ilayhi min qabul. Now he just forgets what he has been calling upon us. What for? Vajala lillahi andadan. And then he declares rivals to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Equals to Allah. The yudullah an absabi ilayhi. So that he should lead people astray from his path. Kul tamatta bi kufreka. Say to them, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Okay, you rejoice and enjoy along with your kufr. Allah is not taking your life at once. Allah is not punishing you at once. Okay, with your kufr you can enjoy. You live a while. Inna kamin ashabin nar. But finally, they are, you are from among the dwellers of the fire. Amman huwa qanitun ana layl sajidan. As for who? As for that who remains standing during the hours of night before his Lord. Sajidan, Aukaiman, sometimes standing, sometimes 
in prostration. Yahzarul Akhirah. He is fearful of the hereafter. Wa yarju rahmatahu rabbihi. And he is hoping the mercy for mercy of his Lord. Pul hal yastavi lazina ya'alamun wa lazina la ya'alamun. Ask them. Can those people who know be equal to those who don't know? These are the people who know their Lord. These are the people who know that they have to return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala one day. So now those who are absolutely heedless to these things, can they be equal? In the Mayat Azakkaru Ulul Albab, verily, admonition it comes to only those people who understand. Say, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi to my bondsmen, O my servants who have come to believe in me, ittaqbu rabbakum, have fear of your Lord. Lillazina ahsanu fi hazi dunya hasana. Whosoever does good deeds in this world, for him will be good reward. Waradullahi wa And the land of Allah, earth of Allah, is very wide and vast. You can make hijrah, you can immigrate. If at one place you cannot, you cannot worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala exclusively, leave that place. Innama yuwafa sabiru raja rahum bighayri hisab. Definitely, the truly persevering people will be paid their reward in full, beyond reckoning. Pul inni umir tu anabud Allah mukhlisan lahuddin. Again, the same word is coming, mukhlisan lahuddin. This is the central theme of this surah. Ikhlas Siddin. Keeping the obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala absolutely exclusive. Absolute obedience to Allah exclusively. Not associating anybody, anything along with the obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ulini umir to anabud Allah mukhlas al din. Say, I have been commanded to worship and obey Allah. Keeping my absolute obedience exclusive to Him. No obedience to anybody else. In which there comes some disobedience for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. La ta'ata li makhluqin fi ba'asiyat al-khaliq. Wa umirtu li akuna awwal al-muslimin. I have been commanded to become the first of those who submit themselves, surrender themselves to the will of God. And say, O Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, even I fear the chastisement of a mighty day if I also disobey my Lord. I don't say I am above disobedience, uh, above obedience. No, no. I am also an obedient servant of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. In the Abdullah, I am Abd of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. See, note it. This phrase is coming repeatedly, repeatedly. Twice in the very beginning and then twice here. Say, I worship and obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, keeping my obedience, total obedience, exclusively for Him. You worship and obey whomsoever you like, mindu nahi. Leaving him. Say the real losers will be those who are losers on the day of judgment and who have their families also in loss. Allah Zalika Hu al Khustarul Mubin. Behold, that is the manifest loss. Lahum min Fawkahim Zulalum min Nar. For them there will be coverings from above of fire. And from beneath them also, the mattresses will also be of fire. This is for which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to frighten His servants. Oh my servants, fear me, have my regard. As for those who avoid worshipping any ta'ut, anyone rebellion, rebelling against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, ayyabuduha, they avoid worshipping them. Wa anabu ilallah, and they have turned their faces towards Allah. 
لهم البشرى فور ذيم ار دي جلاد تايدنجز فبشر عبادي سو او محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم جيف دي جلاد تايدنجز تو ماي سيرفنتس وات از تاغوت تاغا مينز تو ترانسجرس دي ليميت وي سي اردو دريا طغياني پر هي وات دي مين when the river is within its bank banks it's okay when it overflows the bank now it is to riyani taga and baga these two words are very close to each other in arabic so this real position of all the creatures of allah is that they have to obey him the sun is obeying him this moon is obeying him the galaxies are obeying him all the angels are obeying him everything is obeying him and for man also وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ They have to obey. Whosoever doesn't accept total obedience of Allah, it means he has transgressed from his limits. He is taagut. He may be your father. He may be the husband of a woman. Taagut. It will be the system. The system is of taagut. In Pakistan, if we don't you know, establish the sovereignty of God. Although we have it written in our constitution, sovereignty belongs to Allah. But that's theoretical, not practical. Actually, it's not the case. The so sovereignty of Allah is not established. It's taqut. The whole system is taqut. This America is the biggest taqut of this, this world at this time. As Ayatollah Khomeini used to say, the biggest shaitan, the largest shaitan, Greatest set on earth. That is true. So actually, whosoever crosses the limits, boundaries of obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is ta'a and he becomes ta'ut, whosoever he might be. Alladina yastami'oon al-qawl fa yattabi'oon ahsana. As for those who listen attentively the word, the word of Allah, فَيَتَّبِعُونَ أَحْسَنَهُ And then they try to follow the best of it. In our deen also there are levels, concessions for the weak. Okay, you can avail of this concession. You can avail of this concession. But for the people who have the strong willpower, they must not avail of these concessions. You should try to be at the higher level of deen, not at the lower level of deen. There are levels, yes, as you know. When Abu Jahl was torturing that family of three persons, Sumayya, Yasir, and Khabbab. Khabbab was the son, Sumayya mother, Ammar, yes. Ammar was the son, Yasir father, and Sumayya mother. Now this torturing, 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 in the end he got tired. He said, if you once say something, which pleases me, that your God, He is also a God. Okay. If you if only once you say this, I will let you go. Neither Sumayya agreed, she gave her life. Nor Yasir agreed, she gave, he gave her his life. But Ammar, he said, and escaped. But then he had great grief. What happened? But then the Prophet came, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Okay, this is also permitted to save your life, to say something by which you can save your life. But at heart, you are fully satisfied with Tawheed of Allah subhanahu wa taala. This is also allowed. But this is second level. Why not to stay at the first level? When in this world you want to be foremost, higher and higher up. Hey, just to know that good is there, good there, kaha. Everybody is trying to have better and better and better conditions of living. Why don't you want to pursue deen also at the higher and higher and higher levels? Alladina yastamiyoon al-qawla fa yastamiyoon ahsana ulaayt alladina hadahum Allah. They are the people whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has guided. Wa ulaayt ahum ulul al-baab. And they are the people of understanding who have the real intellect. Afaman haqqa alayhi kalimatul azaab. So Muhammad, as for him, on whom the chastisement is justly due. Now can you 
take away from the fire such a person on whom the command of punishment and chastisement has come true. Dakinil ladina taqaw rabbahum But for those who have fear of Allah, their Lord, lahum ghurafun min fawqiha ghurafun. They will have lofty mansions and built over them another, another, you know, level of loft, lofty mansions. Tajri min taati al-adhar. And beneath them, rivers will be flowing. Wa'ad Allah, this is the promise of Allah. La yukhlifu Allah al-mi'ad. Allah doesn't go back his words and promises. Alam tara anna Allah anzala min as-samai maan. Didn't you see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends down water from the heaven? فَسَلَكَهُ يَنَابِيَ فِي الْأَرْضِ Then he makes it penetrate the earth as springs. ثُمَّ يُخْرِجُ بِهِ زَرْعًا And then with this water, he brings forth there with crops, مُخْتَلِفًا الْوَانُهُ Whose colors are different. The crop of wheat, the crop of gram, the crop of corn, Different colors. Mukhtalifan alwanuhu. Summa yahij. Then these crops, they, they reach their climax. Fatarahu musfarran. And then they wither so that you see that their color has now changed to yellow. Summa yajaluhu khutama. And then finally he makes all these things a chef. Inna fi zalika la zikra li ulil al-bab. Verily, in this is, ad, is an admonishment for those people who have understanding. This is actually the simile for human life. When a son is born, you rejoice. But he's weak. But then he trains his puberty, he's strong. Then, you know, his hair turns gray and so on. Body becomes weak. Then he dies. And he is buried, and his body disintegrates, it begins again clay. This cycle of human life takes 50, 60 years, 30 years. But there is this cycle. In a few months, you find the same cycle in the botanical world. This cycle is going on, the same cycle. Then again, the field is barren, nothing. Then again, you sow the seed, and the rain comes, again crop. Again, greenery, everything. Again, when this crop has been reaped, again nothing. So this, this is the cycle. أَفَمَنْ شَرَحَ اللَّهُ صَدْرَهُ لِلْإِسْلَامِ فَهُوَ عَلَى نُورٍ مِّنْ رَبِّهِ Think of that person whose chest Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has opened for Islam. His chest accepts Islam totally. And he is satisfied 100% with whatever command Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given. He doesn't feel anything illogical, anything unbearable. No. In Sharah, he accepts everything. So that he is on a light from his God. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his Lord has given him a light. As opposed to those persons, There are other those people whose hearts have hardened regarding the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ulaika fi dalali mubeen. Verily, they are in the very manifest error. Allahu nazal al-hadith, ahsan al-hadith, kitaban mutashabiham nasaniya. Allah has sent down, O Muhammad, on you, the most excellent discourse, Asan al-Hadith. Kitaban mutashabihan. A book whose parts are resembling each other. And we have seen this. The same subject coming over and over again, discussed over and over again, in different words, different styles, different sequences. Mutashabihan. Masaniya. And repeated, off repeating. The skins of those people who have some fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shivers with this Qur'an, when they read Qur'an. And then their skins and hearts get softened for the remembrance of Allah. 
ذال کا خود اللہ یادی میں یشا یادی بہی میں یشا دس از دی گائیڈنس اف اللہ اف یو ریڈ قرآن اینڈ اے شیورنگ گوز ڈاؤن یو نو یور بیک بون وین یو ریڈ اباؤٹ جہنم اباؤٹ دی ہیل اینڈ وین یو نو دی آیات اف فرگیونس اللہ از غفور اللہ از ستار اللہ از حلیم اینڈ دین یو ہیو سم ہوپ ان یور ہارٹ تو دین اٹ مینس یو ہیو دی لائٹ فرام اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی ذال کا خود اللہ یادی بہی میں شاہ وم یوگ اللہ فما الح من ہاد اینڈ ہوم سو ایور اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی ہیز ہیز لیڈ ایسٹرے دیٹ از ہی ہیز ایکنالج ہیز گوئنگ ایسٹرے یو ہیو چوز ان دی رانگ پارٹ اوکے گو ناؤ وین اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی ہیز پٹ دی سیل ناؤ نو بڈی کین برنگ ہم بیک آن دی رائٹ پارٹ اب ہم یہ تقیب وجہ ہی سو العذاب یوم القیامہ سو دی پرسن ہو ول ہیو ٹو کنفرنٹ دی ورسٹ چیسٹائسمنٹ آف دی ڈے آف ججمنٹ ود ہز فیس ہی ول ہیو ٹو فیس دی فائر آف ہیل وکیل الزین ذوکو وکیل علی ظالمی نزوکو ما کن تم تک سبون اینڈ اٹ ول بی سیٹ ٹو دی ایول ڈوئرس ناؤ ٹیسٹ وٹ یو ہیڈ بن ارننگ کزم الزین امین قبل ہی those also who were before them belied fa'atahum al'adhabu min haythu la yashurun then the chastisement came to them from those corners from which they could never imagine fa'azaqahum allah khizya fil hayat ad dunya so allah made made them taste the chastisement of humiliation in this world wal a'zab al akhirat akbar and the chastisement of the hereafter is much greater لو كانوا يعلمون only if they had known ولقد ضربنا للناس في هذا القران من كل مثل we have struck in this quran all the similitudes for mankind's the guidance لعلهم يتذكرون so that they may get the admonition and the reminding قرانا عربيا غير ذي عوج and this guidance is in the form of an arabic quran and there is no crookedness the language is plain and simple clear la lahum yattaqun so that they may have the fear of allah subhanahu wa taala zarab allah masalan rajulan fihi shuraka wa mutashakisuna wa rajulan salam li rajul now another simile allah subhanahu wa taala has struck there is one slave who has a number of masters and one slave who is slave to one master whose condition would be better if you are slave to two or three masters this master is saying do this the other says no do this the third one says no do this you will be in a fix but if you are the slave of one master you can please him he will be pleased with you you can keep him pleased with you so one allah this is actually the the normal life we have to believe allah we have to obey allah not you know obey allah also and somebody else also and somebody else also hal yastawiyan masala are these two persons equal alhamdulillah all praise be to allah bal aksarhum la ya'lamun but most of them know not innaka mayyitun verily muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam you will have to die wa innahum mayyitun in the same way these people who are opposing you they will also die summa innakum yawm alqiyamati in da rabbikum takhtasimun then on the day of resurrection on the day of judgment you will argue against each other before your lord you will say o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam i had conveyed to them all the message o allah which you sent me now they are responsible so this argument is going to be there between you and your people your nation on the day of judgment faman azlamu mimman kadhaba ala allah so who is a more more wrong doer than the one who forges a lie against allah and it means that he says i am a nabi i am a prophet why revelation is coming to me while there is no revelation coming to him this is the biggest lie if somebody stands up 
and he says, I am the Prophet, while Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not chosen him. This is the biggest lie. What Kazama bi Sidke is Jahu, equally wrong would be to deny and disbelieve the real Prophet who has brought truth with him. So, if a Prophet comes, you deny him, this is the biggest crime. But if you are not a Prophet, and you claim to be a Prophet, this is also equal to the same. Alaysa fi jahannam maswal lil kafirin. For all these types of disbelievers, jahannam, hell is the abode. Now the contrary. Wallazi jab is sidqe. On the other hand, the person who brings the truth, that is, the Prophet, he has brought the truth for people, for mankind, was saddaqa bihi. And he confirms all truths. And this, the Mufassirin say, this denotes to Hazrat Abu Bakr, Razi Allah, Jaab is Sidq, Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who brought the truth for the guidance of humanity. Wallazi was saddaqa bihi is Hazrat Abu Bakr, Razi Allah, Ta'ala. He confirmed immediately. Ulaikahumul muttaqoon. These are the ones who have really fear of Allah in their hearts. لَهُمْ عَيْشَعُونَ عِنْدَ رَبِّهِمْ For them there will be everything that will lie, that they will demand. ذَلِكَ جَزَاءُ الْمُحْسِنِينَ And this is the reward of those who good, who do good deeds. They يُكَفِّرَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُمْ أَسْوَى الَّذِي عَبَلُوا So that Allah may acquit them of the worst deeds that they have, might have committed. وَيَجْزِيَهُمْ أَجْرَهُمْ بِأَحْسَنِ الَّذِينَ كَالَّذِي قَالُوا يَعْمَلُونَ And then he recompenses them with their reward for the best of what they used to do. Now what is this meaning? Every good person also who is doing good deeds, but all deeds are not of one level. One virtue or one good deed is of, it's good but a lower, lower level. Other is of a very high level. There is still a higher level of virtue. Now, whosoever has become successful on the Day of Judgment, now Allah Sala will ignore the lower side of his ex, and he will decide his level according to the highest deeds that he has committed. His status in Jannah, in the garden, in paradise, will be determined according to the highest good deeds that he had committed. Alayhi sallallahu bi kafir abdah Is Allah not sufficient for his bondsman, his servant, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi sallam? وَيُخَبِّفُونَ كَا بِالَّذِينَ مِن دُونَهِ O Muhammad, they are frightening you regarding those whom they call. Oh, now, you know, the curse of Hubul will come to you. The curse of Lat and Uzra will come to you. Just that the people, you know, they frightened Hazrat Ibrahim. You have declared all our gods null and void. Now their curse will befall you in the same way. But you have a fool, a kabil lazina, whom bin dunahi, Raman Yudilahu Famalahu Minhad, whomsoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala leads astray, decides for him that he let him go wherever he wants to go. Then there is no person who can bring him back to the right path. وَمَنْ يَحْدِ اللَّهُ فَمَعْ لَهُ مِنْ مُذِلْ And whosoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has guided to the right path, مَعْ لَهُ مِنْ مُذِلْ There can be nobody who can take him to the wrong path. Allah is Allah bi aziz in intiqam. Is not Allah the mighty and the lord of revenge? Intiqam. He takes revenge also. وَلَئِنْ سَعَلْتَهُ مَنْ خَلَقَ السَّبَاوَاتِ وَالْنَرْضِ And if you ask them, who created the heavens and the earth? لَا يَقُولُ لَنَ اللَّهِ and you will say, Allah. قُلْ أَفَرَيْتُمْ مَا تَدُورَ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ Now say to them, as for those deities whom you are calling upon, besides Allah, إِنْ أَرَادَنِي اللَّهُ بِدُرِّنْ هَلْ هُنَّ كَاشِفَاتُ دُرِّهِ If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decides for me something which is painful, can these, your smaller gods or goddesses, can save me? And they can relieve me of that, of that, you know, affliction. Or, or, and if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
has decided for me some mercy. Hal hunna mum se kaatu rahmati hi. Can they withhold the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? When you say there is Allah, He is the greatest. There are smaller gods. Now the question is, who has the veto? The greater God or the smaller gods and goddesses? If you accept, veto is in the hand of the greater God. So now, all the skin collapses. And what for? To worship, you know, and show respect to these smaller gods. What for? Well, the final authority is in the, in the hand of Allah. Oh, Hasbi Allah, say to them, Allah is all sufficient for me. Alayhi yatamakkalul mutawakkalun. In Him should all those who are trustful put their trust. Qul ya qawmi mulu ala makadatikum. And say to them, O oh Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, O oh my people, strive whatever you are striving at your own places. Inni amil. I am also striving for something. I am working for Allah, I am calling towards Allah, I am propagating this dawah of Allah, this call of Allah. You want to hinder it, you want to put obstacles in its way, do whatever you can do. And I am doing whatever I can do. First of all, very soon you will come to know who succeeds, whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives his help. Mayati hai azabu yusli hai. To whom will come the chastisement that will degrade them. وَيَهِلُّ عَلَيْهِ عَذَابُ مُقِيمٌ On whom a lasting chastisement will remain. إِنَّا أَنزَلْنَا عَلَيْكَ الْكِتَابَ لِلنَّاسِ بِالْحَقِّ O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we have sent down on you this book for people. We have sent down on you, but it is for the people, for their guidance. بِالْحَقِّ with truth. فَمَنْ اِحْتَدَى فَلِنَفْسِهِ Whosoever takes to the right path, gets the guidance, he gets guided for his own benefit. وَمَنْ ضَلَّهَ فَإِنَّمَا يُذِلُّ عَلَيْهَا Whosoever goes astray, you know, the pain will come to him. وَمَا أَنْتَ عَلَيْهِمْ بِوَكِيلٍ And you, O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, are not a custodian over them. الله يتوفى الأنف صحيح موتها Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes the souls of the people when they die. وَالَّتِي لَمْ تَبُتْ فِي مَنَامِهَا And those who don't die in their sleep, in their sleep, in our sleep also, consciousness goes. We are not self-conscious. Self-consciousness, which is actually the biggest thing for us, it goes. فَيُمْسِكُ الَّتِي قَضَى عَلَيْهِ الْمَوْتِ As for those whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed that he has to die, he keeps the soul with him. وَيُسْلُ الْأُخْرَى إِلَىٰ عَجَلِ الْمُسَمَّةِ And for those who were only sleeping and the decision of death had not come for them, for their souls are returned back. يُسْلُ الْأُخْرَى إِلَىٰ عَجَلِ الْمُسَمَّةِ Till a fixed term is completed. إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَاتِ لِقَوِيَ تَفَكَّرُونَ Verily in this are the signs for those people who contemplate and think. أَمِ اتَّخَذُوا مِن دُونِ لَا إِشُفَعَا have they taken to, for themselves intercessors besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? قُلَ وَلَوْ كَانُوا لَا يَمْلِكُونَ شَيْعَا Say to them, think, maybe they, do, they, they, they don't have any power with them. وَلَا يَعْقِلُونَ And they don't understand. قُلْ لِلَّهِ الشَّفَاعَةُ جَمِيعًا Say, all intercession is with Allah. What does it mean? Allah has the authority to accept or reject. Nobody in this universe has the power to force Allah to accept any intercession. None. In the shafaat, قُلْ لِلَّهِ الشَّفَعَةُ جَمِيعًا It is in the hands of Allah. لَهُ مُلْكُ السَّبَعَوَاتِ وَالْلَهُ To Him belongs all kingdom of the heavens and the earth. سُمَّ إِلَيْهِ تُرْجَعُونَ And then towards Him you will be returned. وَإِذَا ذُكِرَ اللَّهُ وَحْدَهُ اُسْمَعْزَتْ قُلُوبُ الَّذِينَ لَا يُبِنُنَ بِالْآخِرَةِ When Allah is mentioned alone with the Tawheed, oneness, you find that the hearts of those people who don't believe in the hereafter, they are filled with disgust. 
what is saying? Tawheed? Okay. What? Vaiza Zukir and Nazina mean do nahi. Now when they are mentioned, whom they love beside Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Iraum Yastaf Sharoon, now they are they rejoice. You say something about Shaykh Abdul Qadir Jilani and Shaykh Ali Hajwari and Muinuddin Ajmeri, Rahimahullah, they will be very glad, they will be listening to it. But if you begin describing the might of Allah, the exclusive obedience for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the judgment of Allah on the day of judgment, then you know they don't like it, okay? These things are there, but not very important. قُلِ اللَّهُمَّ فَاتِرَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَاللَّهُ عَالِمَ الْغَيْبِ وَالشَّهَادَةِ Say, O Allah, the originator of the heavens and the earth, the knower of the unseen and the seen, أَنْتَ تَحْكُمُ بَيْنَ عِبَادِكَ You will judge between your servants فِي مَا كَانُوا فِيهِ يَخْتَلِفُونَ in all the matters in which they had been differing. وَلَوَنَّ لِلَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا مَا فِي الْأَرْضِ جَمِيعًا And if these evildoers possessed all the wealth of the earth وَمِسْلَهُ مَعَهُ And also another like that, more لَفْتَدَوْ بِهِ مِنْ سُوِي رَضَابِ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ They will be ready to ransom themselves therewith from the evil of the chastisement of the day of resurrection. وَبَدَا لَهُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ مَا لَمْ يَقُونُ يَحْتَسِبُونَ And then there will come evidence before their eyes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what they were not expecting. They were not expecting that we will be resurrected and then we will be brought to the book and we will be required to explain our position. وَبَدَا لَهُمْ سَيِّعَاتُ مَا كَسَبُوا وَحَاقَ بِهِمْ مَا كَانُوا بِهِ يَسْتَعْزِعُونَ And now everything will appear before them. The evils of what they had earned and that which they used to mock at, now this will encompass them. They used to mock, what is Jahannam? What type of fire it will be? How do you say there will be a tree also there? Zakum? Absolutely nonsense. They used to mock at, but then all these things will encompass them and engulf them. فَإِذَا مَسَّ الْإِنسَانَ دُرُّمْ دَا رَبَّهُ دَا نَا When an affliction touches a man, he calls upon us, prays to us. سُمَّ إِذَا خَوَّلْنَاهُ نِعْمَةً مِنَّا Then when we bestow upon him a blessing from us, قَالَ إِنَّمَا أُوْتِيْتُهُ عَلَىٰ عِلْمٍ He will say, this thing has been given to me due to my knowledge, my expertise, my intelligence. So actually I have earned these things by my knowledge. The same was the saying of Karun in Amma Uti Tohu Ala Ilm in Hindi. I have been given this all this wealth. So whosoever has this idea that whatever he has, he has earned through his intelligence or you know his planning, etc. etc. He is a disciple of Karun. He is going in the way of in the footsteps of Karun. قَالَ إِنَّمَا أُوْتِيْتُهُ عَنَائِمْ بَلْ هِيَ فِتْنَةٌ No, 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 this is a trial for you, a test for you, وَلَكِنَّ أَكْسَرَهُمْ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ But majority of them don't have the real knowledge. قَدْ قَالَهَا الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِمْ Those also said the same words as they are saying. Here is the reference to Qarun. فَمَا أَغْنَا عَنْهُمْ مَا كَانُوا يَكْسِبُونَ But then, when he was made to be swallowed by the earth, now, nothing could avail to him, could save him. فَأَصَابَهُمْ سَيِّعَاتُ مَا كَسَبُوا Then the evils of all that they had earned befell upon you. وَالَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا مِنْ هَا أُولَاءِ يُسْرِيبَهُمْ سَيِّعَاتُ مَا كَسَبُوا And among these people also, who are opposing you, O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, they will also, the same evil will befall upon them also. وَمَا كَانُوا مُوْجَزِينَ And definitely, they cannot frustrate or defeat our plans. أَوَلَمْ يَعْلَمُوا أَنَّ اللَّهَ يَبْسُطُ الرِّزْقَ لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ وَيَقْدِرُ إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَاتٍ لِقَوْمٍ يُؤْمِنُونَ صدق الله العظيم So don't they see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala how spreads the sustenance for whomsoever he likes or restricts or straightens it to whomsoever he likes he gives a lot of this world and for others he diminishes these things. 
ان نفیز آیات قومی یو مینون شورلی ان دس آر دی سائنس فار دوز پیپل ہو بلیو کل یا عبادی الزین اصرف الفسم دا تقلت من رحمت اللہ دس از ویری امپورٹنٹ آیا آف دی قرآن سے او محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ٹو مائی سرونٹس یا عبادی الزین اصرف او مائی سرونٹس who have transgressed against your own selves. You have done injustice to your own selves by committing sins. Don't be despaired and disappointed from the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inna Allah yaghfiru zunuba jami'a Verily, Allah will forgive the sins altogether. Inna hu huwa al-ghafuru rahim Surely he is the forgiving, the merciful. You have to make toba only, sincere toba. If you repent and you make a firm resolve that now we shall, that I will not disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in any matter, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive all the sins that you might have committed. وَعَنِبُوا إِلَىٰ رَبِّكُمْ وَاسْلِمُوا لَهُ And turn penitently unto your Lord and submit yourself before Him. مِن قَبْلِ اَنْ يَعْتِيَكُمُ الْعَذَابُ سُمَّ لَا تُنْسَرُونَ Before that time, that the chastisement of Allah comes to you, and then there will be no help for you. When you know the signs of that azab of Allah, chastisement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala come, then even if you say we believe, there is no reveal. وَالتَّبِعُوا أَحْسَلَ مَا أُنزِلَ إِلَيْكُمْ And follow the best of what has been sent down to you. مِنْ رَبَّكُمْ from your Lord. مِنْ قَبْلِ اَنْ يَعْتِ يَكُمْ عَذَابُ بَقْتَةً Before that time that the chastisement of your Lord comes upon you suddenly. وَانْتُمْ لَا تَشْعُرُونَ And you will have no idea that the chastisement is coming from this side. أَنْ تَقُولَ نَفْسٌ يَا حَسْرَةَ عَلَى مَا فَرَّتُ فِي جَنْبِ اللَّهِ lest a soul should say, Alas for me, for which I have been undutiful towards my Allah. And verily, I kept among those who were mocking, laughing. I never took it seriously, what Muhammad was saying, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Aw taqula, or the soul might say, Law anna allaha adani lakuntu minil muttaqeen. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given me the guidance, had given me the guidance, I would have become a guided person, a fear, God-fearing person. Or the soul should say, when will she will see that this is the chastisement of Allah before his eyes, would that I could be returned once. Fakuna min al then I will become the excellent bondsman of my Lord. Pull. Bala. Bala kajjat ka ayati. Why not? But to you, our signs had come. Fakazabta biha. You belied them. Vastakbarta. And you showed arrogance. Vakunta min al kafirin. And you had become and chose, you had chosen to become one of the disbelievers. وَيَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ تَرَ الَّذِينَ كَذَبُوا عَلَىٰ وَجُوهِهِمْ And on the day of resurrection you will see those who lied against Allah. وَجُوهُهُمْ مُسْوَدَّةِ Their faces will be blackened. أَلَيْسَ فِي جَهَنَّمْ مَسْوَلْ لِلْمُتَكَبِّرِينَ Is there not the hell, a proper abode for these people who are arrogant in this world? وَيُنَجِ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ اتَّقَوْ بِمَفَاظَتِهِمْ And Allah will save those who had taqwa, who had fear. In their hearts, and He will take them to their places of salvation. No evil would be able to touch them. Nor they will grieve. Allah is the creator of everything. And He is the guardian of everything. To him belong the keys of the heavens and the earth. As for those who disbelieve in the revelations of Allah, surely they are the losers. 
Now the last two sections of this Surah Al-Mubarakah. In a very majestic way, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is describing some events which will be there on the eve of As-Sa'ah, then Al-Qiyabah, then you know the decisions, and then a scene from the hell, another scene from the paradise. As-Sa'ah Al-Qiyabah I explained one day. Asa is the doomsday, when everything will be destroyed, every living creature will be dead. This is Asa. But then there will be a gap. We don't know how much, how long a gap. But then there will be the al qiyamah resurrection, the second creation. And then that is called the day of resurrection, day of Qiyamah. Everybody would be standing before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that is called the Yawm al qiyamah And then you know, the reckoning of whatever every soul has earned, and then the decisions. قُلْ أَفَ غَيْرَ اللَّهِ تَعْمُرُونِ عَبُدُ وَيُّهَ الْجَاهِلُونَ Say to them, O oh Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Do you command me also that I should worship anybody else except Allah? O oh, the ignorant ones! Ayyuhal Jahilun. This is the only place in Quran in this harsh word has been used. Ayyuhal Jahilun. Oh, the ignorant ones. You command me also that I should worship someone else besides Allah. Walakadur iya ilayka. Although it has been already revealed to you, while al Ladina in public, and not only you, also those messengers who were before you. Lain Ashrakta. O oh Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, even if you commit shirk, if you associate anybody with me, layahbatanna amaruk, all of your good deeds will go in vain. Wala takunanna min al khasirin, And you will also become one of the losers. This law of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so fixed, nobody is exempt. Even the beloved of Allah, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, even if supposedly, supposedly, because it is impossible that he could have committed any shirk, but you know, to emphasize the point Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said, لَإِنَّ أَشْرَكْتَ لَيَحْبَطَ اللَّهِ عَمَلَكْ وَلَا تَكُونَ مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ Even if you commit some sort of shirk, then all your good deeds, all the endeavor, all the struggle that you have been making in our in our way will go in vain, futile. Bali Allah Fabud. Nay. But only Allah you should worship. Makumina Shakirin and be among the grateful. Wama Qadarullah Qadri. We have read these words in Suratul Hajj also in the last section. And they esteem not Allah with the true esteem due to him. They couldn't imagine. How powerful Allah is, how, how much is His creative potential, whatever what He can create. They cannot have any estimate. So they cannot esteem Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to that level, true esteem due to Him. Now there is an idea is being given of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as powerful. وَالْأَرْضُ جَمِيعًا قَبْزَتُهُ يَوْبَ الْقِيَامَةِ your, this world, this earth, will be in his, in his one hand on the day of judgment, on the day of resurrection. This full earth will be in one grip of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَالْأَرْضُ جَمِيعًا قَبْزَتُهُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ وَالسَّمَاوَاتُ مَطْوِيَّاتٌ بِيَمِينِهِ And all the heavens will be wrapped round his right arm. This we have read before also. Yawma natwi sama katayya sijil lil kutub. Just as these galaxies, you know, the theory of expanding universe. It's expanding, 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 expanding. But then a time will come, it will retract, retract, retract. And these will be wrapped. All this khala, all this space, all these heavens, all these galaxies will be wrapped round his right arm. Now these are ayat-e-mutashabihat. We can't imagine 
we can't fix any concept of this thing. But the words are here. Divine words, they are from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. مَا قَدَرُ اللَّهَ قَدْرِهِ وَالْأَرْضُ جَمِيعًا قَبْضَتُهُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ وَالسَّمَاوَاتُ مَطْوِيَاتٌ بِيَمِينِهِ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى عَمَّا يُشْرِكُونَ Glory is for him. And he is much higher, higher, higher than what they associate with him. Those things are very low. He is much higher above these things. وَنُفِقَ فِي السُورِ Now comes the Asah. And the trumpet will be blown. فَسَيَقَ مَنْ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ So all who will be in the heavens and in the earth, they will all become unconscious. إِلَّا مَنْ شَاءَ اللَّهِ Except those whom Allah wills. This idea doesn't come, I don't remember in which surah we have read it. Maybe the Hamalatul Arsh, the angels which are bearing the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, maybe they are exempt. Maybe Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, maybe some other uh, messengers of Allah might be exempt. Or all the others will fall down unconscious. وَنُفِقَ فِي السُورِ فَسَائِقَ مَنْ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ إِلَّا مَنْ شَاءَ اللَّهِ ثُمَّ نُفِقَ فِيهِ اُخْرَى and then again the trumpet will be blown. And I told you, we can't say what will be the, you know, time period in between the two. Asah and al qiyama They are two different events, not one. In general talk, you know, we use these words in place of each other as having the same meanings. No. Asah is the doomsday. When, you know, these mountains will move and everybody will die and, you know, there will be the moon will go into the sun. All these things will happen. This is a sa'a. This is the zalzala. This is the earthquake that will take place. Everything will shake. But then there will be a time period in between these. And again, you know, nufiqa fihi ukhra. Again there will be a trumpet blown. And then everybody will come up from their graves and wherever they will be. فَإِذَاهُمْ قِيَامٌ يَنْزُرُونَ And lo, behold, they will be standing, staring and seeing. Because they will be standing, that is why it is called يَوْمُ الْقِيَامَةِ The day of standing, قِيَامَةِ means, قِيَامَةِ means to stand. قِيَامُ اللَّيْلِ So what is it? يَوْمُ الْقِيَامَةِ When all human beings will stand before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that last judgment. وَاشْرَقَتِ الْأَرْضُ بِنُورِ رَبِّهَا and this earth will shine with the light of your Lord. Why? We have it in the last part of Quran in Surah Al-Fajr. رَبُّكَ وَالْمَلَكُ صَفًّا صَفًّا This earth will be flattened. دُكَّتِ الْأَرْضُ دَكَّنْ دَكَّا There will be no mountains, nothing of this sort. All plain earth. And here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala come down. We can't say how. But Ja Rabbu Kawal Malaku Safan Safa. Your Lord will also come. And the angels will come. In lines, you know. In ranks and lines. Here it is also when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends on this earth, this earth will be lit up, lightened. It will shine. Vashrakatil Ardu Bedur Rabbiha. And the earth will shine with the light of the of its Lord. Bhavodi al Kitab. And then the record of the deeds of human beings would be placed. Today we can say it might be a very giant computer. One button and the life film of every of that individual is playing before you. All the events, all the words that he uttered in his 80 years or 90 years life, all preserved. Everything is there. You only need to press one button and the film will start. Prabhuji al-Kitab. Vajiya bin Nabi yina wa shuhada. And then the prophets and the witnesses will be called. Those who were sent as messengers, they will come and testify, O Allah, your message which came to us through Jibreel, we had conveyed to these people. Now they are responsible. 
And then between them everything will be decided with truth, justice. No injustice would be done to anybody. And no one will be wronged. No injustice will be done to anybody. And every soul will be given back in full what it had earned. Good for good, bad for bad. And he verily, very well knows what they are doing. All their deeds, all their actions, all their words that they are uttering are being recorded. And as I said many times, today to understand these things and to believe in these things is easy. We see the words being recorded. There might be a, you know, tape recorder of the size of a button attached to your coat. And you never know that you are having a dialogue with a person and your dialogue is being recorded. You never know it. In this way, if Allah is recording, and there are the angels who are recording everything, now we can easily understand it. Those who disbelieved, they will be driven to the help in groups and squadrons. Hatta iza jauha, till such that when they will come there, arrive at Jahannam, Fotihat abuabuha, then its gates will be opened. It's like the jail. The gates of jails, prisons, they keep closed, locked. They are opened only when either some is going to be released or some new prisoners are coming. Hatta iza jauha, fotihat abuabuha, wa kala lahum khazanatuha. And then the keepers of that hell would say to these people, Alam yatekum rosulum minkum? Didn't the messengers come to you? Yatluna alaykum ayati rabbikum? Reciting unto you the revelations of your Lord? Vayunzirunakum lika yobikum haza? And warning you of the meeting, your meeting of this day? Kalu bala. They will say yes. They did come. But the word of chastisement has proved true against the disbelievers. That is, we disbelieved. We said nothing. We never paid any attention or heed to them. So those keepers of hell would say, Okay, then enter. Enter the gates of this hell to abide here forever. So evil is the abode of the arrogant. Now the opposite scene. Wasikal Ladina Takaura Bahumila Jannate Zumara. And those who fear their Lord will be led to the garden in groups. Hatta Ida Jauha. Till that when they will come there, arrive there, wa fotihata bhagwaha. And its gate would be already open. You know, of a guest house, gates are already open. They're ready to welcome you. But of a jail or prison, the gates are closed. So as for the prison, when they come, the gates will open. But here, when they arrive, the gates will already be open for them. And now the keepers of garden, they will say to them, Salaamun Alaikum, peace be upon you, Tibtum. You fared well. You are successful. Fadkhuluha Khalidin. So now enter this garden to abide there forever, forever. Waqalu alhamdulillahi lazi sadaqana wa'adahu. And when then these people have entered the paradise, they would say, All praise belongs to Allah who has made his promises to us come true. He promised us Jannah and he has fulfilled his promise. And he had inherited the land to us. He had made us inherit the land. Now there can be two meanings. Number one is that the nuzul that I described sometimes in the past, the immediate, you know, what is given to a guest when he arrives. So that is nuzul. So that nuzul of Jannah will be over this very earth. So the people of the Jannah will inherit this world. 
اور اصل الارض اللہ ہیز میڈ اس دی انہیریٹنس انہیریٹنس آف دس دس ارتھ اینڈ دی سیکنڈ میننگ از دیٹ دس از دی ارتھ آف دی پیراڈائز دیٹ ہی ہیز میڈ اس انہیریٹ دی ارتھ دی لینڈ آف پیراڈائز نہ تباہ ہوا من الجنت ہے سو نشا سو دیٹ وی کین ڈویل ہیئر ویئر ایور وی وش فنے ماجر العاملین تو ویری گڈ ول بی دی ریوارڈ آف دیز پیپل ہو ڈڈ گڈ ڈیڈس وہ ترل ملا کا ناؤ دس از دی وچ وی کال دس ٹاپ سین ناؤ فائنل سین ترل ملا کا لارش یو ول سی دی اینجلس سراؤنڈنگ دی تھرون آف اللہ سبحان و تعالی یو سب بے ہوں نہ بے ہم جو رب ہیں اینڈ دے ول بی گلوری فائنگ دے آر لارڈ ود ہز پریس وقت یا بہن ہوں بالحق And among them also, everything will be decided with truth. There can be differences of opinion among the Malayka also. But then at that day, those will also be settled. وَقِيلَ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ And in the end, the words will be called, Praise be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, just as in India we say, Jai, Rakhri, Jai, everything done. And the last, you know, الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ Praise to Allah who is the Lord of all the worlds.